Today we're going to cover troubleshooting and replacing the micro switch assembly on the Jacko environmental tanks. If you have a tank that's not discharging, one of the first things you're going to want to check is to make sure that you have proper inlet supply to the vessel. At the inlet underneath the microvalve, you should have anywhere from 40 to 100 psi of discharge pressure. If you have proper pressure, the next you'll want to check to make sure that the filter at the inlet is not clogged. If you have adequate supply and your filter is not clogged, you'll move on to troubleshooting the bolt plug and microvalve assembly. This is done by manually cycling the manual dump plunger on top of the vessel, which will manually push the float to the top of the tank and allow the pressure to move from the micro switch to the pilot portion of the pilot valve and allow your pressure to discharge the tank. If nothing happens when you press the manual dump plunger, you're gonna to wanna to check the function of the micro switch itself. In order to check the micro switch, you'll wanna disconnect the 9 16 nut here on this piece of tubing and loosen the piece of tubing at the pilot portion of the pilot valve. Move the tubing out of the way. Once that's out of your way, press down on the manual dump plunger again and see if you have air discharging from the outlet of the micro switch out of this port. If you press the manual dump plunger and nothing happens, chances are that your micro switch has a fault within it. So if that's the case, what you want to do is remove the bottom tubing as well and get it out of the way. Like that. Once you have the tubing out of the way, you're going to want to take a ball tip Allen wrench that's usually included in the micro switch kit that comes when you order a micro switch assembly and simply loosen off the bolts holding the micro switch to the bolt plug. One thing that's important to remember when removing the micro switch off the bolt plug is that the bolt plug does not have to be removed in order to change out your micro switch assembly. This is important because if the bolt plug is removed and it's not done properly, you can actually cause damage to the float arm assembly inside of the vessel and render the whole thing useless. So once you have the bolts loosened up, remove the micro switch. And one of the things you're gonna to wanna to check on this micro switch is gonna be whether or not the spring is in place on the stem of the micro switch. If the stem is in place, and you want to troubleshoot further, you can connect a, a supply inlet to, to the inlet portion of the micro switch and cap off this uh, outlet here and cycle, the man, cycle manually the micro switch and see if any air is coming out of the port. If neither one of those things is happening, you're going to want to change out your micro switch assembly. Once you get your new micro switch assembly in, in and you you remove all your fittings from your old micro switch and put them onto the new micro switch. You're going to want to reinstall it onto the bolt plug assembly. This is done by simply installing the new gasket that comes in the kit with the new screws and lock washers that come with the kit as well and all of your other fittings. Once that's done, you're going to want to insert the micro switch into the bolt plug with the stem going into the hole on the inside of the trip trigger of the of the float arm assembly. If the spring does not enter into the hole on the end of the trip trigger, when you go to cycle the tank, your spring will rip off and you will damage the micro switch. So once you have this inserted, you know the spring is inside the trip trigger. You'll simply just want to insert the screws and tighten your screws on your micro switch. Once you have the micro switch reinstalled, the bolts tightened down just enough that you're not going to squeeze the gasket out in between the microvalve plate and the bolt plug. Next, you're going to want to reattach your tubing to the micro switch and the pilot valve. This is simply done by reinserting the tubing into its place and tightening up the 9 16 nuts on the tubing. One thing to keep in mind when you're tightening up the tubing on the quarter inch pilot valve. You're going to want to make sure that you have a backup on the pilot valve so that you don't turn the top, gap, the top cap of the, of the pilot valve and ruin the diaphragm on the inside. Snug those up, get everything nice and, and tight so you're not going to have any leaks. Manually cycle the dump plunger again 
Ensure the float goes up and make sure the tank discharges. Once that's done, you should have a working tank.